Hey, Alberta. Thanks for coming over, man. Can you pause the music real quick? Do you want to talk for just a moment? Thanks, brother. I was having a conversation with a, a friend uh, just very recently, and it made me think of a series of studies that could be really useful for pastors to do in 2019. And I thought, oh, why not just quickly share this? So if you think of 12 months in the year, let's leave out the summer months, June, July, August, because people don't want to read things then. I'm thinking of a book a, a book a month that will build on each other through the year for the year 2019 to help your church. And I, it's, just, it's just how you sort of put together various nine marks titles. So January, get this book on the church. It's basic, definitional. It's the kind of root of everything else. Pretty big print. Doesn't take that long to read. Uh, our own elders are kind of reading through it again slowly these days. Then February, the kind of engine of all this nine mark stuff, the book that Jamie and I did on the compelling community. So this takes the, the seed that's here and in nine marks of a healthy church and really blows it out in some particulars in the way you want the church to feel. So read this one in February. Then two books that sort of uh, talk about the circulation system, as it were, from the church and inside the church. In March, grab Max Stiles' book on evangelism and see how the church as a whole specifically helps to bring people to Christ. And then in April, grab mine on discipling and see how it's those same systems are what help to mature us in Christ. This is, what, this is what he has designed for us. And then, if you want to know the nuts and bolts of how this all fits together, in May, read Jonathan Lehman's little one on church membership. Uh, see how the, the specifics of commitment are actually meant to help our discipleship of Jesus Christ and are helping other people follow Christ as well. And then you take June, July, August off, because people aren't going to read a lot maybe during that time. But then in September, back to school time, uh, probably the heaviest of all these reads is Jonathan Lehman's book, Don't Find Your Church Member, where Jonathan really gets into the weeds on why covenanted membership and the responsibilities of membership in the local church should be understood as the basic evangelism and discipling plan that Jesus himself thought up. And then in the fall, just some various outgrowths of this. So uh, Jono's book on prayer. Use this one in October. Uh, think about how God is honored in the church in prayer. And John does a great job in this one of thinking about particularly how the local church prays, not just us as individuals, but the local church. And then in November, <clears throat> go back to basics. Grab Michael Lawrence's on conversion and try to understand what has to be so clear in the teaching of our church and so clear in our practice as we try to make sure those who we baptize, those who we bring into membership are themselves truly converted. And then finally, end the year, very appropriately for a lot of us in December, with uh, Andy Johnson's book on missions, to see how this kind of church you read about in February in Compelling Community, and the sort of roots of it are here in the January book for the church, this kind of church is the very plan that Jesus has always had for how he's going to reach the whole world with the good news of Jesus Christ. So that's just an idea. Nine books that you could read with uh, other leaders in your church, or maybe more a broader group even in your church, in the year 2019, nine books that would help you. The church, compelling community, evangelism, circulation system there, discipling, circulation system there, and then the nuts and bolts of it, church membership, take a break for summer, September back to school, see how it's all yoked together in a serious responsibility that each Christian should have being a member of their local church, and then three good parts of that, just prayer, the experience of prayer together, conversion, making sure we're clear on this new birth that God has for us, and then missions, how we intend through this very circulation system we're, we're talking about. This is Jesus' plan to reach the whole world in the Great Commission. Friends, there's a lot more we could say, but I meant this to be a brief video. I hope you have a great new year.